Police are still searching for clues to help catch an ASU student's killers. It's the latest murder in one of the deadliest years in Tempe's history. New tonight, ABC 15's Dave Biscoving explains the emphasis police are putting on the most high-profile cases. They shot him, and he's dead. Now, the dying, dying. The attacks were random. Two ASU students killed. A pair of high-profile cases in the middle of one of the deadliest years in city history. We're concerned about our homicides. I'll say right off the bat, one homicide is too many. On Sunday night, 21-year-old Zach Marco was walking home from the campus library. He never made it. He was gunned down during a robbery. The world has lost a great kid. His case is like Kylie Sosa's in May who was run over after a passenger tried to rip off her purse as they drove by. Whoever did this, if you hear me, please just turn yourself in. Tempe is working desperately to keep both cases from going cold. We don't forget about our victims. But this year, Tempe has had 12 of them. That's 10 more murders than last year, and five have not yet been solved. So th these are our crime stats. They are what they are, and, uh, you know, we want to let people know. But despite a spike in murders, what's surprising is that overall violent crime has had a double-digit drop. And Sergeant Steve Carbajal says most of the homicides are not random. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be careful. Be compliant. Um, your property, whether it's your backpack, whether it's a phone or an iPod, is not worth your life. Police say they need your help, and they may not be able to solve these murders without your tips. So if you have any information, please give them a call. Reporting live in Tempe, Dave Biscoving, ABC 15 News. Jeff